Hello and welcome to this three video series on bike rental forecasting with regressors in R. So for developing this time series forecasting model with regressors, I will make use of bike rental data which are available from Kaggle.com. We'll start by making a simple time series model that captures trend and seasonality and then we'll add regressors such as US holidays because uh, bike rentals are usually affected by that also temperature and humidity we will make use of three libraries bike sharing data that we are going to use is available on kaggle.com so this is a bike sharing data in washington dc and the data we have is for 2011 and 2012 Forecasting of uh, rental bikes is very useful for planning purposes. You can find uh, more details about the bike sharing system and there is also a data dictionary for each variable in the data set. For example, CNT is count of total rental bikes including both casual and registered. They have two different types of data set. One is daily data and other one is available for each and every hour. So we are going to use day.csv. Let's read our data in data. So we are reading a CSV file. Header is true because we have titles in the first row. So it has 731 observations and there are 16 variables. This second column is the date column. To start with, uh, we'll use this date column and also this last column which is CNT. So how many bikes were rented? If you look at the second column, we have year, month and day format. So within our data, we can use the second column and say that it has year, month and day format and run this. Let's do a quick plot using qplot. We'll use DTE day as date and the data we'll plot is CNT which is the count and our data is being called as data. We can also give a main title. So this is the data we have. It starts with the 1st of January in 2011 and ends with 31st December 2012. So we have complete two years of data looking at this plot we can see that the data has seasonality as well as trend so you can see during winter months number of bike rentals are lower and during summer months the number of uh, rentals uh, increase significantly but there are also a lot of fluctuations up and down both during winter as well as summer months first we'll develop forecast only with this time series data using dates and number of bike rentals then we'll add information about uh, holidays in US because bike rentals may be affected by holidays and later on we'll also add regressors such as temperature and humidity and see if we can improve our bike rental forecasting model in the next video will create a bike rental forecasting model and also assess its performance.